All right, now we're going to look at project all. And I'm going to kind of run through the same thing I did earlier. Um, just for an, a brief example, I'm going to take and create a, a ring here, make it a poly mesh, clone it, and then go into, let's see, a sphere, sure. Make a poly mesh, clone it, go into subtools, and let's mount by appending the ring. Okay? And then I'm just going to merge down. Well, wait, no, I'm going to move the ring a little bit. Let's move that ring. Better to move the ball, probably. Alright, so something I did before. Something very simple. And it will merge down. Okay, this time, however, I'm going to remesh this and lower the resolution. There we go, 24. So I unclicked all these. That way it just remeshes onto itself. So what you can do with this is make sure that only the two tools are showing. It's on the tool that you want to project. And then I'm just going to hit project all. So what happens now is I have a low res representation of the shape that I made up top. So these are the two primitives and this is a solid chunk of polygonal matter now and low res. So now I can divide up. Now the topology is awful so even if I go dividing it might work out pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. So there we go. The ability to uh, take a mesh, project all, and then divide it up with pretty good results. So now you can make normal maps and everything else because you can go down to a lower res. Alright, enjoy. On to the next video.